everyone. Welcome back to Rihanna's Cuisines. Today I'm super excited because we're making a red spinach and mango salad. <clears throat> I went to an Asian store and I had no idea that red spinach even existed, but I guess it does and I want you to look at how gorgeous this red spinach is. It doesn't taste anything different. The only thing that I would say that the, uh, the stems taste like beets, you know, the red beets that we boil and eat. Um, so I am not going to use a lot of the red stems just because I don't know if the people that I'm going to be serving to are going to enjoy that. So I'm just going to put a little bit of it on there or I might use that for just garnishing. So um, the ingredients that I'm going to tell you can be interchangeable. You can use whatever you like. This is just something that we enjoy at home. I have here uh, bean sprouts and you want to use really fresh bean sprouts. They should not be slimy at all. Um, here I have mint leaves, I have some cilantro, I have some white cabbage, I have coleslaw. I also have some spring onions, which I should have taken out of the bag, but um, there we go. Okay, and then um, I also have a persimmon here that we're going to put in, and I think that's going to be awesome to put the colors in. I've got some jicama here, and you can chop them, slice them, dice them, do whatever you want. I just kind of did it a little different so, you know, you can kind of give it some dimension to the salad. I've got raw mango, and I like using raw mango because um, it's going to give it that real nice tart um, and uh, a little bit uh, crunch in there too. And then I have a Chinese red cabbage here that I'm going to be using, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to be using that. Now, for our sauce, I am making a lot more sauce, uh, the dressing, than what we need, need for this recipe because I really use this for all my salads. So I'm going to be using one cup of orange juice, and we're going to make the dressing first and, you know, leave it alone, then we'll start with our salad. So for our, what we're going to do with our um, orange juice, we're going to add in about a third of a cup of, oil of oil, olive oil. And you want to use some good olive oil and I'm just eyeballing okay to that I'm gonna go ahead and add about two tablespoons of good soy sauce and that's why I'm not we're not gonna need any salt this is the soy sauce that I use um, just love the taste of the soy sauce then to that I'm gonna be adding a little bit of sriracha sauce then we're going to be add, adding some sweet chili sauce in there and that's why we're omitting the sugar because this is going to sweeten up really well two tablespoons is good enough we're going to give it a taste test and we're going to make sure that all the um the taste really good and if we need to we can add some more we're also going to be adding about a tablespoon of rice vinegar and then I'm also going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of black and white sesame seeds. Now, I happened to get the black and white together. I, I was awesome. I got so excited. But um, if you just want to add black, that's up to you. If you want to combine, that's up to you. If you don't want to add, that's up to you too. And I'm just going to put it in this container and I'm going to give it a good mix. Now at this point, what you want to do is you have to give it a taste test because you want to make sure that all the, you know, you like the sweetness, you like the tartness, you like the, you also like the um, amount of chili that's in there. It needs a little bit more rice wine vinegar. And I can't really taste the um, sriracha. So I'm gonna add a little bit more sriracha in there. And I'm also going to add a little bit more of the chili, sweet chili sauce. Okay. And the sesame seeds are amazing. It gives it mm, so good. So you can really scale this recipe down to just adding, you know, doing with half a cup of orange juice or even 
a fourth and just adding all the ingredients to make sure that everything is um, oh yeah perfect I can feel the sriracha sauce right in the back of my throat yum <clears throat> okay so we're not gonna need that right now put that on the side now let's go ahead and start getting our salad together okay so I'm gonna grab a big bowl and get this stuff out of the way here So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take out that much of the stems, and then I really don't wanna cut it. Well, I guess I'll have it. I thought I was going to be able to chop it. Okay, now if you see the, you see where the stems are, I'm just gonna cut that a little bit more tinier. into our bowl just like so okay in there I'm gonna go ahead and add my bean sprouts okay then I'm gonna go ahead and add my spring onions in there and my cabbage or coleslaw in there. And that's also gonna give it some good color. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take both my mint and my cilantro and I'm gonna give it a good chop. That mint and smells so good. You know, I have a mince, a, a tool that I have bought. It's actually minces the uh, mint and cilantro. And I haven't used it. I should take that out and use that. Add that. That's going to give it some really, really amazing taste, freshness. And that's what I like. You know, I love eating salad and actually taste that freshness that comes from the salad. All right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and throw in my mango and my jicama. And you can start seeing how beautiful the salad already looks. And we started off with a little bit of ingredients, but this just, you know, when you start mixing everything together, it just becomes so much more okay all right then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cut up our, our um, cabbage into nice thin slices just like that Lastly, I'm going to cut up my persimmon and when fall comes just the persimmons like you know it's such a fall thing and I just love it they're in season in the fall and they're just Persimmons are great and they're such a good source of fiber, which is so not good for me, but absolutely, absolutely delicious. So what you want to do is you just want to start with your salad and start plating it.
okay what I'm gonna do with the parsimons so I'm just gonna stick it on the side just like that you can integrate it with the salad if you like but I really like to garnish my food and make it look really really nice Really, really happy because I have one more left that I can eat up. Okay, so good. Hmm. And as far as the stems, I'm not going to use all of them, but I kind of want to make a statement saying that this is from the red cabbage. So, or sorry, sorry, sorry. From the red spinach so this is gonna be my conversation starter like oh my god what is this and then it's gonna be like is it celery no is it so this is my conversation starter and look at how festive and beautiful you know with no time this salad came out now because I am going to be eating we're gonna be eating this you know four or five hours later I am not going to be putting the dressing on there but just before serving i'm going to be adding the um dressing on there and then throwing uh some more sesame seeds on there but i do want to do a taste test because i'm dying to do a taste test so i'm just going to take some from here and i'm just going to put it in a big bowl because i really don't want to spoil another bowl here To that, I'm going to add my little bit of my dressing. It's really good, this dressing. You know, you feel like you don't want to saturate it with mayo and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm just going to make that a good mix. And I don't need any more sesame seeds in here. You can tell there's a lot. So I'm going to take my bit of my red cabbage, the jicama, the mango, some mint, and some, some bean sprouts. And here we go. Mm-hmm. amazing taste of freshness just raw freshness it's so good it's so crispy it's it's got that um that he, little bit of the heat and the spinach gives it a whole new dimension because like i said this spinach tastes so much like beets so it's really not your normal salad it's just giving it a completely new um, taste with the red spinach so if you can't find the red spinach go ahead and use regular spinach it'll be completely fine and I'm sure it's gonna turn out fabulous just the way this one is thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Hannah's Cuisines hope I can see you here next time with another great video see you then friends